Hey guys, it is Brooke and um, we are out on a Thursday doing my normal thrifting run, vintage junk run, and I'm headed over to Do-Overs where I'm going to be doing a live from there, but I saw a garage sale sign, so we are going to check it out. Even bubbles, huh? Oh, the dogs like the bubbles? Oh, yeah. Really? Okay, so I've been to a few places, um, stores, and we are going to stop at another garage sale. So these girls asked me to come by, offered me to come by yesterday. I buy lots of stuff off of them just in the stores that they have booths in. So I'm excited to see what's at the garage sale. Hi, hi. Hello. hi I made it. Saying it's so nice. The weather's good. Yeah, it's perfect. Uh, Brooke. Yes? You worked out in the yard all day yesterday. What about this one? 25. I'm taping, but you can talk to me. <laughs> Love that tartan pattern. She's got lots of concrete yard stuff. Hey, so I just left a garage sale and I'm heading to Collectomania and Hillary had mentioned maybe stopping at Thrift Mart, and guess what? I ended up going, I'm pretty sure this is her car, I ended up <laughs> driving by Thrift Mart, so I'm like, I better stop and say hi to Hillary. We're gonna do... Take her today? Yes. We're gonna do, how long is it gonna take us to find Hillary? Oh, Hillary. Tell everyone hi, you look so pretty. Hi. How'd it go today? Good. Good. So I found Hillary and some bread. <laughs> it's like, I don't even know what it is. Wah, what is wah. it? It's a baguette. No, but like, oh, what's it made foam. out of? It's, it's foam. It's just like squishy. I bet if we ripped it, it would be foam. <laughs> okay, last stop today before going and picking up cash from school happens to be a garage sale. So I found, a little bitty sign by Collectomania. While I was on the toilet, I looked to see where that street was because I just thought that I could see the numbers of the street. Not even really that close to, I mean close to the Collectomania, but quite a few blocks away. And I would have never found it if I hadn't found the street. 
number on the sign. So then once you got closer, there's signs, but this road is so, so narrow. And then at her house, she didn't have any signs. So it says yard sale and plant sale. So let's see what we see. How are you? Good. I just barely saw the sign. <laughs> Yeah, I think when I looked this morning, I think it got up to like 30% chance at maybe two and then it just kept going up for a little bit. But it looked like the main chance was going to be night night. So you guys were moving everything in. Is that what you're saying? Gotcha. Well, I'm mainly looking for antique stuff, so old stuff. Okay. No, you're fine. You're fine. I'll look around and if I okay. need something, I'll holler at you. How about that? I know. I think it's really supposed to rain almost every day. What percent was it saying right? Well, this morning it was only like 30% chance at like three, but... You know, they change their mind every two seconds. This must be insulated. I just have to tape this horse so it has no concrete in the back but it still looks so cute and there's a robin sitting on top <laughs> okay guys we have about two seconds <laughs> to share what i got today before i have to go pick up cash so first we have a signed pottery piece and you know what attracted me to it definitely the color green this was 2.99 at saint vincent de paul then i went to changing places which is mainly furniture I'm kind of looking for something different in the basement. Um, I need some side tables. I would like some ta table and chairs kind of, I think, um, over where I kind of had my office at one point. And so I went there also because a garage sale that somebody asked me to attend was over in that direction. But this is what I got. So they don't have very many smalls at all, but I loved this old bottle. I don't think it's an aqua color. It almost looks like an olive green wine jug with the wicker, but I loved it. Um, at Copper Dog, I picked up this little brass, probably napkin holder with the marble base and the brass, but I'm giving this to my friend Hillary because she loves um, rainbow stuff. Actually, we met up at Thrift Mart and she got I didn't have it on video, but it was a wooden spoon with a bunch of rainbows on it. Just burnt, they weren't like in color or anything. And it's the an anniversary of her mom's uh, death last year. And so I just thought this would be a nice uh, gesture for her. So I do have another piece from the Copper Dog, but it is under a bunch of stuff. So first place I went was Thrifty Flea and I got this hanging scale loved the scale basket, the patina on it. And then I haven't had a clock or clock, a uh, scale um, face like this before. It says Phila Scoop and Scale Manufacturing Company. So I don't know what Phila is, but 
scoop and scale, we know what that is. Then at the garage sale that I went to, was asked to go to, I got this picnic basket, love it. It's not green, but I still really like it. And the little damage, rusty spots on the bottom does not bother me at all. Um, I might have grabbed some concrete for a girlfriend when I was there, but another lady was there and she pretty much grabbed up all the concrete and we had fun conversation. I helped carry a piece for her and um, <laughs> Sheila was talking to her and just saying like, cause she had a concrete base that would have probably had a bird bath on it. But when Sheila bought it, it was broken. And anyway, it's just the base now. And Sheila was like, like, do you have a husband? And she's like, I have a boyfriend. And we're, she's like, you know, is, is he handy? And the lady, Mia, is like, he has hands. <laughs> and I'm like, man, I wish I had had my camera on for that because we, us ladies all, were cracking up at that. But they had recently bought a house together and he put in some ponds for her. She loves garden stuff. Um, so it was fun hearing her chat about that. So also at the garage sale, I got these two ice cream buckets. I'm actually thinking I might try a um, little paint technique on one. Now this piece, you guys need to drop it in the comments. What is it? So somebody, the vendor that had it said maybe a wig stand or a hat stand. At first when I saw it, I actually it caught my eye on a table as I was going to use their bathroom. And I thought it was one of those like metal things where you put your toast in it and you cook, but it's, it's about twice the height of that and it's been painted. And so we just decided that it has to be um, some other purpose. So some kind of display stand maybe. So if you know or have an idea, put it down in the comments and then I will be researching it as well. So then at Collectomania, it was funny because there was two big plastic bags and both bags say, please take up front to open. <laughs> what do you think I found? I found one bag because they were um, safety pinned together, one bag and the thing was open. I mean, it was folded in there. So whoever looked um, in the girl's booth, she, you know, didn't like ruin it or tear it apart or anything, but she didn't follow or he didn't follow directions. So that bag has the dresser scarves in it. And then this Ziploc bag has, and I can't remember what size it said. I don't remember what size it is, but this is a uh, coverlet for your bed and it is beautiful and in great condition. And I'm not necessarily a pink girl, but how cute would this be in a baby's room? You could use this as a blanket on your nursing chair um, or just in a, in a little girl's room, period. So I grabbed that. Let's see. Also at um, Thrifty Flea, I went by this owl. Um, it's USA, and I researched it a little bit while I was there. It is a Shawnee piece. Um, but I kept walking by this owl probably five times, and I kept thinking, oh, I just think that that's probably valuable. I just think that's kind of valuable. For whatever reason, sometimes pieces talk to you. Darn Bella. And so after I researched this, I was like, yep, I'm going to pick up that owl um, cookie bowl, cookie jar. Also at the Thrifty Flea, I got this piece of driftwood. Now, you can go and find your own driftwood, but finding a cool piece that looks good is can be difficult. So I don't know if I'll put this out in our flower bed, put it inside in the basement, sell it, but I really liked it. The other piece I got at the Copper Dog, um, besides that rainbow holder is this, I'm guessing it's a suitcase stand, but I'm going to use it to hold a suitcase, I think, and put it in the basement as a side table. Um, it'll just kind of depend on how it looks when I get it into position on if I like it or not. Um, because one of the spots where I'm needing the side table, I want something really skinny. 
this obviously is not going to fit in the spot that I want something really skinny. So we'll see what it looks like and then I'll make a decision. But I love the coloring. You can't go wrong. The Mutt Rota is what that screw head says. So it really looks new. Actually, let's use it as a stand. It really looks like new oak, so I'm guessing somebody made it. All right, when I was at Collectomania, um, one of the dealers there had just bought a whole lot of these animal planters, and I just thought they looked cool. She was giving me a great price on them. A lot of them are marked Inesco. Yeah, this one is an Inesco, um, and I just loved them. So whether you put cotton swabs, toothbrushes, plants, um, a washcloth, put a little pump in it of, for your soap, whatever you do, I just thought these were cute and I wanted to grab them. I'm also debating on giving one to my girlfriend because I feel like it kind of looks like her dog. So this one kind of looks like her dog. What is the kind of a corgi? And I know one of my customers, Valerie, who is also a friend, she really likes um, animal planters or just like animal figurines, especially if they look like her dog. And here's a bigger version of that one. And um, I think, I can't remember, she might have, what are those called? What is this one called? Um, a friend growing up had one and they're very mean and territorial and that damn thing hated me. I did get a little Siamese cat. Um, not a terrier. I don't know. I think this one might look like Valerie's, but I'm not sure. I am debating. I took measurements for a mirror that I saw at Collectomania. Even though I just came home from Watch Your Flea Market with those window pieces, I have not tested them out yet. Um, but there was a big ass beveled mirror. I'll put a picture in here. Um, and I'm thinking it was like 42 by 45. It's probably not going to be big enough. And I already have mirrors over there. So it's like I don't need every inch of my walls covered with mirrors. Right, Brooke? So, but I am going to think about it. I got this little kitties. There's like some, I don't know if you can see in here, but there's some like pink highlights. So I thought that was pretty cool. All right, guys, I do this every week, plus more videos, plus for the month of May, I am going live every single day. So if you don't see the lives pull up on my page or in your feed, just make sure you go to the junk parlor you tap, there's like little tabs at the top, you tap where it says live, and then you'll see all of my live videos. So we've cleaned, I've done a tour of my living room, I've done a sale, went to watch here live, today I did do-overs live, and all of that's gonna be linked down in the description. All right, see you next time.